collaborative solutions. I think we've all read that a thousand times. Anyways, so <coughs> I've realized that I am once again in need of some clarity within uh, and some contextualization. <sighs> so in the world right now, there's a lot of garbage going on. A lot of stuff is really, really messed up. The economy's not functioning properly. Right? Everybody keeps on telling me that, oh, we're recovering. I live in Canada. I keep on hearing that we're recovering from the crash in 08. And yeah, whatever. You know, when we've got car manufacturers that are warehousing manufactured cars in Europe and there's warehouse upon warehouse upon warehouse filled with these these cars that are being manufactured but not being sold you know it's it's pretty clear that there's like somewhat of a stopgap going on here it's not working properly so that's capital the capitalist economy that we've built for ourselves and you know it had its place. Uh, it's got a, gotten us to the point that we're at now today, and that's great. What I'm talking about when I say collaborative solutions, when I talk about collaborative commons, have any of you heard of Airbnb? Let's take for example, that's Airbnb is part of uh, the sharing economy share economy, which is another facet of this collaborative commons that I'm talking about, that Jeremy Rifkin's talking about. There's a lot of really, really great thinkers out there that are talking about this stuff. And the reason that they're talking about it is because they envision this greater world that we can live in this one that is more holistic that, that we can start building now for our children and this is this is my piece to that this is this is where I I feel I can help affect making that come to fruition is just through talking about it so all of you have obviously already watched like one or two of my videos before and you've heard what I have to say about, you know, whether it's motivation and whether it's whether it's the collaborative commons or whether I'm talking about meta maps, which is another thing that is involved with collaborative commons. I talk about a lot, lot of different stuff, but the base factor of it is, sorry, the base factor of it is that I see a problem that is that capitalist economy is not functioning. And I see a solution. The solution is the collaborative commons. The solution is the sharing economy. So yeah, um, if you're coming across this video by chance on YouTube or anything like that, please take a moment. If it rings with you at all, just even like the slightest bit, if you would like a future for your children, you would like a future for your grandchildren. If you have nieces or nephews, if you even have a friend that has children or anything like that, that you would like them to have a future, please take a moment. Navigate your way to RaymondJohnstone.com and have a look. 